With the rising prices of the mid-fi and hi-fi categories going up and up, it's easier than ever to start feeling left out. But thankfully, there's still a way to get state-of-the-art sound without breaking the bank. Today, I want to show you some of the most high-performance DIY kits available that you can build in your home today with very simple tools and still get factory finished performance and results. If you enjoy DIY speaker building, consider subscribing. My goal when I started this channel was to build and review popular and obscure kits so that you know what you're getting into. I'm not affiliated with any of the brands or companies that I'm going to mention today, so your support means a lot. I don't think I need to go through the lengthy process of explaining why consumer speakers, along with inflation, have become such a poor value proposition. Channels like GR Research have already done a great deal of work exposing how poorly designed and built a lot of mid to high end speakers can be, so I'm going to assume that you have that knowledge already. I'm gonna do this in three tiers, starting with beginner, intermediate, and advanced. In this first category, all of the millwork and design work has been done for you. These kits are going to arrive ready to assemble at your door. All you'll need are a few simple clamps or straps and a soldering iron. For the finish here, we're going to go with veneer and a clothes iron. This method is extremely easy and I'm confident you can do it at home. It makes no mess and it requires no tools. I'm going to link to several of my videos where I go through this process step by step so that you have a good understanding of what to do. I am confident you can do this at home. First up, we have the Tritrix kit from Parts Express. This is an MTM transmission line design. A transmission line means powerful deep bass from really small drivers. The MTM portion here means that you're going to be playing with much lower distortion. Many people have built this kit before you, so if you run into any issues or any problems, anything you're not sure about, there is almost certainly going to be an answer to your question online. Next up is the XLS Encore kit by GR Research. This kit is going to be a little more costly, and it might be for those who are going to prioritize parts quality and are willing to pay for that difference. This kit has really good reviews, it's going to come with everything you need to build, and you're going to be really hard pressed to find a bad review out there. Many people have built these and many have gone on to rave about their performance. Last up in the beginner category, and certainly not least, is the HiVi 3.1. This kit is available directly through Amazon and is going to come with everything you need to build from start to finish. It's going to even include a faux wood grain if you choose to go that route. I'd recommend that you don't, but if you're just looking to get started, it's going to come with everything. This kit is going to probably be the hardest to compete with on this list with its performance. These things image like crazy, they have phenomenally deep bass for their size, and they're just altogether a very, very pleasing sound. There is actually going to be a crossover mod that's going to tame the brightness. A lot of people find these speakers fatiguing. I still have mine with the stock crossover, and you do need to EQ the top end down just a little bit, especially if you're going to be in an untreated room like many people are, so keep that in mind. This next category is going to be for those that want to put their own touch on a proven design. These are going to include all of the speakers and crossover parts, sometimes port tubes and terminals and things like that, but you'll be on the hook for building the entire enclosure or at least the back half of the enclosure. This does mean more work, but more control over the finished product. First up in this category is going to be the Midwest Audio Club 466. This is a three-way floor standing loudspeaker. I recently had a chance to build their entry level two-way bookshelf and was pretty well blown away by the performance. A three-way floor stander like this is going to mean subwoofers are optional and with the three-way design you're going to get much lower distortion. This kit is going to come with everything you need except the enclosure. That means high quality crossover parts, drivers, port tubes, damping material, etc. You're just going to be on the hook for building the enclosure.
Next up is the Amiga offered by Parts Express. This is a two-way design that's going to include the front baffle. This design comes to you courtesy of Paul Carmody, known for his work with the Overnight Sensations. This is a really cool two-way design, including the front baffle, which means you'll be on the hook for the back half of the enclosure. I recently built Paul Carmody's Pit Viper designs and I have nothing but good things to say about them, so I have no problem recommending more of his work. Last up in this category is going to be the Helios offered by Matasound. This kit was designed by Javad Shazi and the late Jeff Bagby. This kit is going to be a very high performance, high end two way design, offering really deep bass extension and very low distortion. This is going to be a two way design featuring passive radiators. This is definitely going to be a true full range, high end, end game type of build. It's very expensive, but the performance is there and I believe it's well justified. This last category is definitely going to be the most involved and advanced. It's going to require sourcing your own drivers and your own crossover parts, port tubes, damping material, etc. It's also going to require that you understand how to read plans and build your enclosure from scratch. This is going to offer the most value as you can either choose to save money on your crossover parts or to put a bulk of your money there to try to squeeze every last drop of performance out of your drivers. First up in this category are going to be the Epic Hi-Fi by fellow YouTuber Toys DIY Audio. This is going to be an earth shattering two way design featuring two of the Epic Hi-Fi drivers with passive radiators and a CSS audio tweeter. These are gonna be a truly full range two way design. I'm gonna leave links to his build video down below. Next up is going to be another design by a fellow YouTuber SoundLab. I've got my eye on his two-way stand mount that has a very uncanny resemblance to a very popular two-way speaker right now. This guy offers tons of different designs and the best part is, is he publishes all of his measurements so that you have a good understanding of the science behind each of his designs. Last up in this category are going to be the Pit Vipers by Paul Carmody. All of Paul Carmody's designs are free and can be found on his website. These are going to be a true full range three-way design featuring a dedicated subwoofer. Larger designs like this are definitely more of a challenge to build as they will become heavier and thus much more difficult to move around on your own, so keep that in mind. But the performance you're gonna get out of this large 12 inch woofer is going to be hard to rival with anything else. I'm going to leave a link to my own build video on these down below, so be sure to check that out. The bottom line for DIY in 2024 is that there really is something for everyone at every skill level and at every price point. All of the websites that I've shown you today are going to offer many more kits than I have time to show you in this video. So if nothing I've shown you speaks to you today, be sure to check out these sites on your own. There's bound to be something that speaks to you. Designing a speaker of your own can be a tremendous challenge and having a professional do all the hard work for you ensures that you're gonna get really good results when you're done with your build. Just as a reminder, I am not affiliated with any of the companies that I've shown you today and I will not make a dime if you decide to purchase anything from them. I've got a really cool home theater build coming up that I think you're really going to like, so if you want to see that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.